Hello everyone. Uh, this is the second part of uh, the play that we were talking about. All my sons. So we'll resume uh, from the very point we left in the first video. That is uh, some detailed summary, act-wise summary of the play. So we were uh, uh, about to start with the first act. Okay. So in this uh, uh, play. So at first, we are introduced uh, introduced to the uh, uh, family of Joe Keller. <coughs> the family of Joe Keller, uh, including Kit and Chris, and uh, his neighbors Frank and Doctor Jim. Okay, so this is the introductory part that we have. It is happening in uh, some August morning. Uh, maybe it is uh, 1946 or some other year. Okay, so this is we get to know that uh, uh, Joe is a businessman, self-made businessman, uh, who is a, a successful self-made businessman, and <clears throat> they are visited by Frank, who is preparing uh, an horoscope for uh, uh, Larry, so that. Uh, uh, Larry is actually the second, uh, first son of Joe and Kate, and he went missing in the uh, uh, Second World War. Okay, so <clears throat> we get to uh, so many things have happened in the night. There was a storm which blew down, uh, uh, which blew down uh, the tree that was planted in the memory of Larry. Also, they are visited. This very night, they uh, Anne has visited, and who is Anne? Anne was Larry's girlfriend, but now Larry is gone. So Chris, Larry's younger brother, is planning to propose to Anne, and also Anne is in love with Chris, that is the second son of Joe Killer. So. This is the things that is happening. They are talking every uh, about things like this or that. Okay, so nothing major has happened yet. And then we uh, uh, get to know uh, about uh, the, they play a game. They that is Joe Keller and a boy named Bert. Okay, they play the game about jail in which they think that uh, Joe Keller is a policeman, a detective and uh, uh, <coughs> and Bert the boy uh, uh, becomes a spy for him who looks after the neighborhood. So this is a game and it is a very uh, 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 Kate, the wife of Joe doesn't like this game because it reminds them of the case. And we, uh, the, the story unfolds further. We get to know that what actually had happened uh, because of that. So uh, we get to know that jail, uh, 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 <coughs> Joe actually went to jail. And on coming back, they considered uh, the boys, they took the fancy of him being a police officer. But in actuality, there was a crime, a war crime was committed by them which was that they manufactured faulty cylinders and supplied it to the uh, uh, army and because of that uh, those, those cylinders uh, were used in fighter planes and because of those faulty cracked cylinders 21 soldiers actually died 21 uh, plane uh, uh, you know uh, pilots died because of that and the everything, the blame was uh, uh, laid on someone else. The someone else was Steve Deaver, father of Anne and George Deaver. Okay, Steve Deaver was subordinate to Joe in his company. So now Steve Deaver is serving the prison time because he has been convicted of this crime. So. These things are going on and we also get to know that uh, uh, Chris is suffering from the survivor's guilt. Now think about this, uh, what is survivor's guilt? What happens that if 
uh, a couple of people go to war and most of them die and one who is uh, uh, one is alive so that that person tend to have this survivor skill that what was uh, uh, what was that i did wrong so i am not dead and what was the thing and so many things it's, it's a very uh, psychological thing and uh, uh, so many people have suffered from it so we have a character chris who came back from the war who survived the world war second and he is suffering that guilt okay so these are the things uh, that is unfolding uh, and act 1 uh, before mentioning this uh, i wanted to talk about the arrival of ann as well so ann arrives at that place and uh, it has made uh, the mother jo a bit uneasy why she has come okay and it is further uh, at the end of act 1 uh joe keller receives a phone call from george in which george is saying that he's coming over from new york to talk about different uh, uh, to settle something what's something we don't know yet okay that is explored in the second act so let's move to the second act <clears throat> in the act second we get to know that uh, ann and chris have been engaged but chris is uh, is not telling this to his mother yet okay further uh, 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 now that uh, everyone gets to know that ann and chris are planning to get married okay so there is this neighbor sue she indirectly remarks that the uh, entire locality still thinks that it uh, uh, not just still but joe was also Uh, uh uh you know uh, guilty for those cracked cylinders manufacturing those uh, uh cracked cylinders okay so he too was equally guilty but he was exonerated so we get to know about this in a brief george stewart comes he, he has uh, the last day he too visited his father to his cell and he gets to know that uh, from uh, uh, that part that actually joe killer was the one who <clears throat> uh, who said go ahead with uh, uh, supplying the faulty cylinders okay and <coughs> and uh, 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 steve was uh, uh, it wasn't steve uh, rather it was joe killer the guilty the culprit okay behind all these things and because he was a big person he uh, was uh, uh, convicted and he got exonerated so uh, uh, there is a great deal of debate going on between who is guilty who is not uh, set up between joe and george but ultimately uh, they do not reach to any conclusion but again uh, uh, we see the entry of uh, uh, frank who has prepared the horoscope in which he says that <clears throat> larry is still alive which means if larry is alive then and and chris cannot get married because and is the sweetheart of larry who is still alive this is what get things but they are trying their best uh, be it chris and everyone else uh, that uh, uh, to uh, confirm and uh, to persuade her to believe that uh, larry is dead but she is not ready she is not willing to accept this but once uh, it becomes very hard for her to accept then she vehemently says if larry is dead which means your father is the murderer so this rhetorical remark actually tells everything about uh, what has happened before that it is mentioned that uh, he never got uh, uh, <coughs> uh, sick in his entire life but on that very fortunate day or unfortunate day when they manufactured the cracked cylinders the faulty cylinders which was supplied to the army which led to the death of 21 pilots okay so it was uh, at that on that fateful day he got actually flu so this is the only time he got sick 
So this gives us some more information that it was a lie. He never got flu. And then at the end of act second, we get to know that if Larry is dead, then Joe is murderer. This rhetorical remark on the part of Kit also gives us some idea about what might have happened. And then to this point, Chris, son of Joe Keller, has come to accept the truth that indeed it wasn't the fault of Steve, rather it was the fault of his father because of that those 21 soldiers have died. So he's not very happy with that. He's angry. He leaves his home and he's gone out there somewhere. We don't know where. <coughs> it says the middle of night. Uh, okay. In the next slide, we'll see uh, the Act 3. So, when Act 3 opens, we get to know that it's a midnight, still uh, probably 2 a.m. in the... Uh, okay. And uh, <coughs> uh, Chris hasn't returned yet home. Kate is uh, 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 waiting for uh, his son, uh, her son to arrive. And Joe is uh, there contemplating things. Okay. So now we have uh, till I act two we have uh, uh, this uh, this thing is con uh, confirmed that actually it was the fault of Joe and Joe is guilty and what they were wrong has been done to the Dever family be it George Dever and or Steve Dever Steve Dever is actually uh, uh, you know uh, he has been uh, uh, convicted is serving jail term instead of Joe. So, <coughs> they are talking about the consequences and everything. Kate suggests, Kate, the mother, mother suggests that Joe must admit to his son that he is ready to go to prison so that his son will stay at home, otherwise he will just go out. Okay, but Joe is not very much ready to accept uh, his, his crime. Okay, he is like, uh, why should I believe this? Uh, whatever I did, why should I go to prison? Whatever I did, uh, it was for uh, for the family, for the betterment of family. I have seen poverty. So this kind of remarks is giving. He emphasizes over the importance of family. I do not have to uh, uh, ask for forgiveness for, uh, to his son. Why? Because uh, 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 he is his father and Chris is his son. This is what he believes. Further, in, in, in the in between of these dis discussions, we see uh, Anne enters and she says, uh, she uh, points out the fact that she is actually living out with Chris so that they can start a new life. But Kate is very adamant about it. She thinks that they cannot do this, she cannot take away Chris, she cannot marry Chris because still. Larry is alive, to which Anne actually produces a letter, a letter from Larry, the letter which was written on the very day, very same day when he went missing and this letter is a uh, 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 of, of uh, 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 you know great importance because it actually revealed what has happened at that uh, time back then. So we get to know what might have happened. So in the letter it is revealed that those deaths of 21 pilots because of those cracked cylinders made headlines on the news and everything and he believed, Larry believed that his father was guilty and his father was behind all this. His father was responsible for those 21 dead people. So, because of that, Larry is going to commit suicide. And this is what has happened. This letter actually confirms that Larry committed suicide because of his father's guilt. Because uh, his father manufactured those 
faulty cylinders and which led to the death of 21 soldiers. Okay, now Kate accepts this. Kate accepts the reality that his son is not coming back. <clears throat> At this moment, we see that Chris comes back to his home, but now he is lost. He is in no <clears throat> any situation because every the moral com compass that he had is now lost. Okay, he don't know what to do. He's, he tries to argue with his father that whatever you did, no uh, human can uh, uh, do to anyone else. So it was very wrong of you. So <clears throat> to this, the father, Joe, is still not very uh, ready to accept these things. But at the end, Chris actually reads out the letter in which we see that what has conspired back then. And this is the final thing that happens in the play. He comes to realization that it was, uh, though Larry was there, but Larry considered that not only Larry, but everyone, those 21 soldiers who died were also his sons. He was an American and, and, and uh, uh, an American shouldn't or mustn't do this kind of things. But his father has done that kind of thing. So his giving of his life for that. And this is the final revelation that happens in the play. And because of this, he says to his son, Chris, that he is uh, ready to give in to police station. He is going to give himself to uh, uh, police. But he goes back to his, <clears throat> his room and then in the background we hear a gunshot and Joe has killed himself. Kate, to which Kate, uh, 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 when we hear the gunshot, Chris is filled with remorse because it is because of his chiding that his father committed, uh, 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 you know, suicide. But again, Kate comes to the rescue. She says that whatever has happened has happened. Now, go ahead, uh, move out, uh, move on, move out of this place and start your new life afresh. So. This is the final message of Kate and this is how the play ends. Okay, so <clears throat> we have talked about uh, 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 the summary of the play. So you got the slight idea, but I would suggest you to uh, read the complete text so that you will uh, enjoy it, uh, uh, you know, uh, in a, <clears throat> a better way. So let's talk about the themes of this play okay so family and family uh, familial obligations so as we uh, at the from the very beginning of this play we'll say that uh, family is a very important part uh, uh, whatever has happened in this play okay so family is in its center and the familial obligation too plays a very important part for example uh, when Joe Keller is actually, uh, uh, when it is revealed that he was the real culprit behind everything that happened out there in, in war. So, for that, he says that I was, uh, I have seen poverty. I have maintained this, uh, 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 this much of, I have uh, managed to earn this much of money and everything. I have, uh, uh, I have been able to make a business. It's because of so many things and why I was doing this, I, I was doing all these things for uh, the sake of this family. At the same time, uh, we, let's take the example of uh, Chris. Chris uh, who survived the World War II, he came back but uh, he, when he came back, he was a very changed person. Okay, He no longer he wanted his father's business or anything. Uh, he was suffering from the survivor skill, but because he was a son, because he was an heir to this uh, uh, business empire, so he had to work and uh, he has to do his duties. And uh, also, 
uh, the other son Larry went missing so uh, his responsibilities as a son uh, increased and he was there he was just filling in okay <clears throat> Further, uh, let's uh, we, uh, talk about uh, Jim, Jim, uh, Doctor Jim. Doctor Jim is also uh, very much. Uh, uh, is he has some goals? He has some objectives in uh, his life, but he has given up all those things for the sake of keeping up with family. Okay, so this one is also a very important aspect in this drama. Uh, in this drama. So, uh, 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 to conclude, we can say that family and familial obligations plays very pivotal role in the making, in the development and uh, of, of this play. Okay. Further, <clears throat> loss and memory. As you can see, two characters, Steve Deaver and Larry Keller, they do not have any physical presence in the play, but it's all about their memory. Okay. So this is about memory and also about loss. When I say uh, uh, we have loss as a theme of this play, uh, uh, World War II made everyone realize that they have lost something or other. Every one of us. So to start with, Chris who survived the World War II but again he came back but he lost all his friends, all his comrades, and he is uh, he has got a great memory, a fond memory for those camaraderie he had with his friends in the field. Second, <coughs> uh, 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 Larry, it is Larry's memory that is haunting everyone, and because of that. Uh, uh, Kate has become so prestigious and everything. So, loss and memory plays a very pivotal role in the making of this play. Everyone, Joe has lost so many things. His son, and at the end, he loses his life because something he did in the past. Next is, war, morality and consequences. So, the war is a major theme in this play. Why? Because everything that happened in the play was because of the World War II. Okay, so at the very core of this play we have World War II. Every character was doing something or other in World War II. For example, Chris, George, Larry, they all went to the war. Whereas Joe Keller was doing his work that is manufacturing cylinders during that war. And then morality. The question of morality. Okay. So out there in the field, in the battlefield, they are, uh, 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 they are well aware of their side and the other side. They believe that they are fighting for right cause because the other party that they are fighting is, uh, uh, you know, fascist uh, 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 people. So, is fighting, Chris is fighting those fascist people. So, there is a distinction between what is right and what is wrong. So, this, this is there. But coming back to this life, there is no anything as such. There is no clear cut picture what is right, what is wrong. We see Joe, <coughs> Joe Keller manufactured faulty cracked cylinders which led to death of 21 uh, fighter pilots. Now think about this, when something uh, like that happens, everyone's moral compass is at loss. Chris is at loss. And then consequences. Consequences is uh, 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 what do we call uh, uh, the Greek uh, style of writing where uh, 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 we have this uh, thing that uh, the past always catches up. So the consequences part is that if whatever somebody did there is consequences that he must or he she must accept. So <clears throat> for example Joe Keller 
manufactured those faulty cylinders but he came back, uh, uh, at the end when it is revealed that his he was responsible for uh, uh, those 21 dead so he gets to read the letter of larry where it is mentioned that in a way though he was an uh, uh, in a way it was he that is <coughs> joe keller who is the reason for the death of his son larry so there is chris he chided his father for his being uh, 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 you know <coughs> for his not being morally upright so chris also uh, uh, chides his father because of this and the consequence is that his father is dead so many things is working in this way <clears throat> further uh, liability culpability and guilt now you'll see the guilt part is very uh, 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 is at the very center of this play because everyone is suffering from this in some way or other <clears throat> Beat Chris, who is suffering from survivor's guilt, is uh, uh, he has this sense of guilt because he is making money, living there, but all his friends died out there in the field, and and has something uh, uh, in his uh, sorry in her part as well that uh, she actually uh, is marrying uh, the younger son, uh, sorry younger brother of her uh, previous sweetheart. So again, she is uh, though she is not very much uh, affected by this, but again, it is there out there. Also, she is she uh, uh, her father was convicted of uh, those crimes, so she has shunned his father out. So this is also due to the guilt and so many things. Chris and then Joe. Though he never realized his guilt, but again, once the letter is revealed, he gets to know that it was he because of his son is uh, 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 you know uh, no longer in this world, so he commits suicide. So that's the major part, and then liability and culpab uh, culpability. So the belief that every action has its uh, equal and opposite reaction uh, that works in this that whatever. Decisions you make, it will catch up. The consequences will catch up. You'll, uh, it will follow you, and then <coughs> <coughs> Lenny does not wait to hear what the trial verdict will be. He convicts, uh, convicts his father and stay uh, in his own mind and chooses to end his life rather than confront the reality of his guilt. Back home after the war. So Chris, on the other hand, has taken the job from his father after the war, and and he stands to inherit the manufacturing company when his father retires. In this sense, Chris, who per, uh, perhaps always sensed vaguely that his father had okayed the production of those faulty cylinders, uh, but still he is uh, he has those uh, feelings of guilt and everything, uh, <clears throat> and at the end. When his father is dead, Chris also suffers the major blow of uh, guilt when uh, his father shoots himself. Okay, this is because of his chidings that his father is dead. So, overall, this entire play is a, 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 a very realistic, heart wrenching in some way as far as the storyline is concerned. So, <clears throat> uh, I would suggest there are so many other aspects to discuss about in the play, but uh, uh, I'm leaving out those things so that you can explore much more uh, on, or, on your own. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Have a good day.